All right, here we are again. This is part two of the um, fish tank I'm building. It's almost done. This is upside down. So we're looking at the bottom right here. This is what's going to be with the floor. So you can see it's there's a couple of spaces here that it's not so great, but uh, I think it'll work. I think it's okay. Um, so anyway, what I'm doing now? Oh, I'll just I'll just say, say what I did. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but obviously you can see that it, there was a big space here. Um, I explained that in the other video where I mismeasured this because um, it's a 55 gallon tank and it's 13 inches. Well, it's actually like 12 and a half because it's the inner, I don't know. Anyway, about 12 and a half. And <clears throat> So I thought these would be two, so I made this nine, thinking that that would equal twelve, I mean thirteen, um, but it's only one and a half, so it was a whole inch short, so we've got this space here, which I then put in these little spacers, you can see there's one there, and then there, and there on the other side, and that, those two split, so see there it's totally split and this one this wood split too here as I was screwing in from this way and of course um, that one of course it had to split as well anyway I put plenty of screws um, all along here is three or four of them in there uh, so these end pieces are really solid these ones are a little shaky but they still, I mean, I can sit on one of these things and, and it holds my weight to 30. So if there's four of them, that's six, 960, I think, something like that. And uh, anyway, so what I'm doing now is I got the top. This is the top is on the ground here. And I built that one also. It's the same as this, the same as the bottom. And uh, what I have under there are two pieces of melanine, and those are just for spacing. Um, I haven't drilled, I haven't screwed it in yet, but uh, under the melanine is another two of these boards that are just laying flat. So there's two of them laying underneath the melanine. And that is for spacing. So what I'm going to do now is drill in here on all the studs there. I'm just drill right through and secure this piece to these pieces. And what I've done here is I just had this scrap wood just sitting around, and it happened to fit in there pretty nicely on either side. I mean, I did bend in the, the two outward, these two ones, I bent them in just a little bit, but uh, to get the wood to fit in there, but it's not a big deal. <coughs> so, then there's the other one there. Put it in. So then, um, all I have to do is get another piece um, for each of these four beams here. That one's going to be difficult because I don't know if you can tell the light's bad, but there's two screws sticking out there. So that's going to be tough to get anything to screw in there. Um, but I'll figure it out. I always do. So that's that. It's almost done. And uh, put some more videos when it is done. Oh, here, nice split. Look at this. Not good. So make sure you don't split your wood when you're working with wood.